no, no! When? Goodbye. Finish it, Sheriff. Please, we can still end it already. Nice try. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't. What be he's serious. done? You just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right, do it. I think I made a right choice. Let him suffer for his crimes. be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. Let's just call it even. Hey, Sheriff. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <sighs> I think I've lost count. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. Who are you? Oh, hey, Jack. Uh oh. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Is everything okay? You look. I'm. I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Well, looks like absolutely nothing's changed. I don't think I did good. What? Oh, they're still going to the farm. Oh, golly. minutes and carry me for fuck's sake i don't give a shit i forgot these oh thank you it's uh, been pretty busy around here morning sheriff nice fucking day oh, shit just go grab that would you sorry about all this uh, i tried to help just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. 
I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. I'm sorry, TJ. But, uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the money soon. It'd be nice. <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No, I'm not. Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves, so you <laughs> wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B, where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? Saying goodbye. Hello again. Don't run me over, don't run me over, don't run me over. Okay. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just. It's okay. I get it. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then, Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? I had to. It's okay, just calm down. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess uh, it's done as done. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? Well, that explains I walked a lot. her over here, and I left her, just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them. You were trying to get my attention. So you... you started all this. 
I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's going to be different now, I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. What hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom? They used to call me the Little Did Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Well, dang. I'll see you around. Is that the end? Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. We've finally made it to the end. Oh. Oh, okay. What's this? So, is that the end? That's the end then. Well, I was not expecting it to take that turn. When I first started it, I... Well, I knew it was going to be dark because it was a Telltale game and it did get dark at some positions. Definitely not nowhere close near as dark as, uh... Say, The Walking Dead was. But it was... I did like it. It was a very good game. It was well put together. There's some problem with the controls, but that's mostly because I was using keyboard and got a little wonky at times. So yeah, that's the end. I just want to thank everybody who's been on this little ride with me, just watching it to the end.
I, I know I'm not that good at YouTube yet. I'm trying. I'm gonna get better. I will get better. I hope to get better. So then. Thank you for watching. If you guys want to see me do more, uh, I guess, games like this, like, in the future, please comment, let me know. I'm always watching. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Have a nice day, evening, or afternoon. Peace.